Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 19th through the 25th. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. So Aries, for this reading, I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot. I'm also pulling you a messages from your angels, oracle card by Dorian Virtue. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Aries, I do have the Eight of Cups. All right, let's see here. Maybe some of you are leaving something behind, letting go emotionally. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups with strength. So some of you are being strong, moving forward. Okay, there could be some sort of news with a page of swords, some sort of news or communication that's coming in here. Underneath the page of swords, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you could be maybe hearing some sort of truth. Um, there could be a very important message that's coming in. It might allow for you to move forward here, maybe towards something new with the Wheel of Fortune, taking some sort of chance. But it's going to require inner strength here, Erie. So being strong, having confidence. And because the overall energy for you guys for the week is the Eight of Pentacles, maybe some of you are leaving a company for a new company. Eight of Pentacles, landing a new job, learning a new trade, learning a new skill. Uh, I could be reading for some Aries where you're starting a business. For those of you that have planted seeds, if you don't work for a living, you know, with a project, anything that you, you know, have been very focused on, you've planted those seeds, maybe you had to, to wait for those seeds to grow. You have the seven and the eight of pentacles here. So you're seeing growth, you're making progress. Financially, some of you are in a better place. Uh, and we're starting out with the King of Wands. So we see some of you very, very motivated, focused, creative, working very hard, Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, I see you really enjoying the work that you're doing. So if you're an Aries that just landed a new job or maybe... Maybe you're moving up within the company that you already work for. I feel like this is going to be a position that you're going to like. Um, you're going to enjoy doing this job. If you're learning a new skill or a new trade, you know, it's something that you're going to enjoy. Uh, with this Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, I'm definitely reading for some Aries that you're landing a new job in a big company or organization for some of you. You've planted those seeds, but those seeds are sprouting. You've been patient with the Seven of Pentacles. King of Wands is someone who's very motivated, very, very passionate. What's interesting, Aries, is we do have two kings here. We have the King of Wands, and then I have the King of Cups. And so I could be reading for some Aries that, you know, maybe you have water in your chart, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. For some of you, this, this was your heart set on this, and now, and now you're manifesting it. Um, Seven of Pentacles, you know, you might have planted those seeds, you might have worked very, very hard, but I think that some of you, you're really invested emotionally in this. With the Hierophant, paperwork could be significant here this week. Some of you may be signing some papers here this week. Uh, if this is not on the job front for you, again, it could be a project. It also might have something to do with a home for you. Maybe some of you uh, are purchasing a home or fixing up a home. If you were waiting on a loan, for a home to come through, we have the Six of Pentacles here, which can represent some sort of help coming in. It can be financially, but it doesn't have to be. Um, here we have the Six of Pentacles. We do have the Empress, and the Empress represents growth, expansion, and so 
Aries, you've already planted those seeds. And so now here this week, things are growing, things are expanding. And because I do have the tower, um, for some of you, a property, a home is significant. With the Hierophant, you could be signing some papers here this week or receiving some papers that maybe you are waiting on. There's some sort of help that's coming in. Now, the Empress could be you. We do have this woman here, and I do have two kings, and so I could be reading for some Aries. We are... You're this empress. She's a beautiful woman. She has a lot to offer. She can be a mother, but she doesn't have to be. She can be someone who's doing quite well for herself. Now, this could be someone that maybe you're helping. This person could be helping you. Uh, the Hierophant also speaks about uh, commitment, marriage. And so uh, I might be reading for some Aries females where... You know, maybe you're choosing between two men or you might be taking some sort of risk here and maybe investing in someone. I could be reading for some Aries where you're getting into a relationship. That could be what's growing or expanding is maybe some of you are taking it to the next level. Uh, you might be moving in with this person. With the tower, a home could be significant. The tower also can represent something happening suddenly. And I don't want you to think that that's automatically negative because it's not. Um, we see here that you had to plant those seeds. And so some of you have been very patient. You really had to have faith here. Um, and now we have the eight of pentacles. So you're seeing growth. For some of you, it's happening suddenly. Uh, four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, then we have the Seven and the Eight. So some of you financially, you're in a good place. Maybe you're letting go of, of something. Uh, for those of you that are landing a new job, letting go of maybe a company and moving towards a new one or letting go of a position. Maybe you're going to be hearing something very suddenly here Aries this week because we do see you moving forward with that eight of cups and moving towards uh, we have this wheel of fortune here so moving towards taking a chance starting something new and I'm just seeing if I'm getting anything else here Yeah, so overall, it's going to be a very good week for you. Lots of growth, lots of growth and expansion. Uh, for some of you, this could be your finances growing, your savings account growing here. Let's pull you an additional guidance card, Aries. Uh, I could be reading for some Aries where maybe someone needs your help. You could be helping a loved one. So that could be a water sign person, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Maybe there's a family member or maybe your partner, your husband, your wife. Someone could be coming to you and maybe asking for your help. It could be sudden. So some of you Aries, you might be very generous here this week. All right. We have Archangel Michael. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life change life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Wow, so call on Archangel Michael here this week. We had strength here underneath the Eight of Cups. So being strong, moving forward, having confidence, courage, believing in yourself. You can call on Archangel Michael as far as um, you know, asking him to help with this um, for those of you that are working on something or leaving a company and moving on you know that's not always the easiest some of you are moving towards maybe your life purpose here very important time for you Aries in your life and things might happen suddenly for some of you all right, Aries, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week.